All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto my Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us the truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. My name is Malak, and I'm back with another lesson in all truth and sincerity. And this is a lesson on discipleship and what that means. All right, this journey, this walk, we all will be changed. All right, from the moment that we heard this truth up until the point, Lord's will, we were taken into that chariot. We will have to go through things and grow in the spirit and come out victorious if we want to receive a spot on that chariot. And that's what we're fighting for. All right, and this is just going to be a lesson going into that transition of really coming into, a, you know, a master at the apprenticeship, okay, from apprentice to a master, okay, because that's all a disciple is. It's a student. Matter of fact, let's get this word disciple. All right, this one, this word disciple is one, <clears throat> one who follows another for the purpose of learning. All right, and when you get into that disciple, the word disciple, it means it goes into a apprenticeship, okay, right, where you shadow the leader, all right. Now it says... Decipher, uh, decipher, okay, to grasp intellectually. That's where you get the word decipher. Um, let's see, student, a pupil, a scholar, okay, and that's something that we have to that you understand quickly when you come into this is um you're receiving the high level of education okay you're brought back to being a student of Yahweh Shai all right so we'll get a couple of scriptures on it Lord will the point will be brought full circle and you can be edified all right so this is Matthew chapter 11 verse 29 and it reads take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Right? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Right? So this apprenticeship is of Yahweh Shai in the fullness of his walk. Okay? Now, let's get that word learn. All right? It's menatheno, menathano, G. 3129 says to learn to be appraised to hear to be informed to learn by use and practice so this learn or this lesson that we're being taught or these things that we're being taught from your house side these Stories of old, which Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book, is is our basis to live out this human experience. Okay, this <laughs> Israelite experience. 
Okay, so that's what Yahweh Shai's walk is for, for us to learn. I'll read it again. This is Matthew 11 and 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. Right, so we're supposed to learn of him. And he's giving us a summary of his, his um, attributes. Okay, it says, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. So, and that's the, that's what we search for. That's what we yearn for is rest, but of our soul, all right? Brothers are not, or most, I'll say, are not sleep deprived, right? It's this uh, vexation or this tribulation that we're going through is a, uneasiness of our soul all right of our spirit that's what this captivity really represents okay and that's what Yahweh Shai is coming to bring peace okay now this is Matthew chapter 16 verse 24 then say Yahweh Shai unto his unto his disciples if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Right. So this is a also a humbling um, walk. OK, we have, where we constantly have to make sure that we're not overindulging in certain pleasures that we have in this world. OK, it says to let him deny himself. All right, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. Okay, we can't accept everything that we're given. Okay, even if it's so called pleasurable, favorable. Okay, we have to continue to follow Yahweh Shah if we want to stay in his shadow. All right, stay in his in, in the sight of him. All right, so we don't fear off too far. Um, I'm going to read it again, Matthew 16 and 24. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. All right, so you have to deny yourself. All right, pick up your cross. All right, pretty much be accountable. Whatever you have. Okay, whatever you're carrying, be able to hold it down. Be able to hold that up, man. Okay? Certain gifts brothers have. Certain demons brothers are fighting. But we all have to be able to carry that throughout this path. Okay? And it says to follow me. As of Yahweh, follow Yahweh Shai, right? Just as he did, okay? But also, who do we have this ministry, okay? To have, to, to help with the burden of our cross, okay? Which, you know, we help, brothers help with giving unto you instruction, wisdom, their past experience, Okay? But for the most part, man, we have to man up and make our own decisions that will ultimately affect the letter end. OK. So this is Philippians chapter three, verse seven it says, but what things were gained to me? Those I counted loss for Hamashiach, right, because the things that we so-called lose in this world we're going to get back all right for following Yahweh Shai. all right this story or this walk is a walk of um stoicism okay this is the most um patient this isn't this isn't the uh, insta instant gratification route Okay, this is the the longest investment <laughs> that you can rate wait for the reward, man. All right, this is living life on hard mode. 
right? But what's at the end of the game? It's that prize, okay? Not many people play the game to the full extent. But that's what the Lord called us to do, man. To play it how it was meant to be. Um, and, and um, you know, how to, how to, how it was played in its perfection. Being Yahweh Shai, okay? And to, and to overcome. All right, so I'm going to read it from the top. Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Hamashiach, okay? Yeah, doubtless, and and I count it, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach, Yahweh, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Hamashiach, right? It says, count things lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay? The knowledge, man. That's what that discipleship is about. Okay? We're putting off the things of this world to gain a higher understanding of Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's what that means. All right? And the, and the things of this world are counted as dung Okay, unto the elect, which is dung is pretty much shit. Okay, if you see a piece of shit in the yard, you're not going to look at it as, it as treasure. That's how we view the things of this world. All right. Your fucking, uh, you know, 100 inch TV. Right. It's counted as dung. These uh, fickle relationships with these people in the world, man, that aren't of any substance, right? It's counted as dung. It doesn't matter. Okay? We have to be willing to give up everything to follow Yahweh's side. All right? For that knowledge. Because this knowledge is more precious more precious than fine rubies and gold as scriptures say okay now it says in verse 9 and be found with and be found in him not having mine own righteousness which is of the law but that which is through the faith of Hamashiach okay and that's going into the law man we're not justified by the law. We're justified by our faith within Yahweh Shai. All right, how, how much do you believe? All right, yes, and that faith is going to drive you not to want to transgress the law, okay? You gain more. Once, once the Lord, um, you know, gives you faith, which is a gift, okay, and you step out on faith, and you're brought up uh, to a level, you start to understand why the world is the way it is and why things, why the Most High made it, the things that he said, there's a reason, okay? There's a reason for every every detail that the Lord gave us, okay? There's a reason why we eat things and don't eat certain things and we... Um, you know, the reason why we keep our hair a certain way, okay? These all have certain meanings, all right, that we can't even comprehend in these bodies fully. So, and that's where the faith comes in, man. But the faith has to be in Yahweh Shai, because that's our justification. That's our ticket out of here, okay? Now it says, the righteousness, which is of Yahweh by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Okay, so we're supposed to conform unto his death. Okay, and that word conform. All right, let's go ahead and get that.
supposed to be um it says disposed or accustomed to uh, what is acceptable or expected um let me see Lock it, y'all. Bear with me. Pull it up. Yeah, conform to obey, to adhere to, to match up to. Okay, so let's read it again. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Okay, being made to uh, in in accordance in, in accordance with being matched up, being uh, in agreement with. Okay, so we're supposed to go about this walk as if as Yahweh Shai did in our own way. So yeah, this is just a quick lesson. Lord willing, I edify. I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto my heavenly Father Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rahakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone taught us this truth. Shalom.